To write the formula for barium hydroxide, we'll go to the periodic table and look up barium, the element symbol for barium, Ba, and then we look up hydroxide, which actually isn't on the periodic table, and this is one you should remember. The hydroxide ion, this is a polyatomic ion. So we go to the table of common polyatomic ions, or we have it memorized, and we see that it's OH minus. Barium, that's a metal, and then OH, the hydroxide, that's a nonmetal. We have a metal and nonmetals, we have an ionic compound. And we need to take the charges into account when we write the formula for barium hydroxide. On the periodic table, barium is in group two. It has a two plus ionic charge. And we said the hydroxide has a one minus. So these don't add up to zero, and barium hydroxide, that's a neutral compound. So the charges need to have a net charge of zero. We can change the subscripts to make that happen. We can take the one, move it down here, and the two over here. We don't write the one by convention. Let's get rid of these charges. And then we need to put parentheses around the hydroxide. And that's the formula for barium hydroxide. Let's quickly check our work. We said barium was two plus, and the hydroxide, the whole thing, was one minus. So we have two of the hydroxides, two times the one minus, that's a two minus. The barium, one times the two plus, that's a two plus. So these add up to zero, the net charge is zero. This is the correct formula for barium hydroxide. Let's clean it up. And that's it, barium hydroxide, BaOH2. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.